Good morning, everybody. So it's day two in the strawberry field, and it's, I think, eight degrees now. Luckily, there's no wind, so we're gonna get at it, and hopefully, we can get a lot done. So I haven't been able to video a lot because we're just trying to get as much done as fast as possible. You can see the power plant over there, how it's blowing the steam right to the right and so that means it's pretty windy so usually when that starts going sideways it means within the next hour or two maybe it's gonna start getting windy here but right now it's dead calm so like i said we're trying to get as much done as possible it's looking really nice what we're getting done we're trying not to put on too much but we want to put on enough because we want to make sure the berries are covered nice and then in the spring we're going to rake this back off and it'll be nice for people to walk in as they're picking the strawberries. The only problem we're encountering now is we're almost out of straw so we're going to have to go back and load up here pretty quick. You see Lily up there. What do you think, Casey? So we just pulled the dump trailer up. Now we're loading the wagon. Frank's throwing them off to dad. And then dad's stacking them. We kind of have it figured out that to go out one row, we need about 20 to 25 bales. So we're gonna throw, there was about 78 on here, but we took some off. So we're gonna throw about 50 on off of here. That way we can get out and back another two rows. The wind hasn't picked up too bad, but it is a little more breezy than it was this morning. So, as you can see, the straw, the straw mulcher has been doing a pretty good job. Um, it's doing not as good of a job as it was early this morning when there was no wind, but it's still covering pretty nice. You can see a couple leaves here and there sticking out, but not really a big deal. We're just hoping that if tonight or tomorrow it gets more windy, it doesn't blow that straw back off the field. The ideal conditions would be snows or rains on top of that straw, packing it down on there a little bit. So we just finished the straw field, got everything blown off. We have six bales left. We almost figured it out perfectly. Now we're gonna take these apparatuses off and we're actually gonna save them for next year.
So if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll know that we've been getting quite a few shipments in of plants, and now it's time to start putting them into pots or hanging baskets, whatever they need to go into. So that requires a lot of soil, which all of our soil behind me here is compressed. And when you open them up, you have to either take your hands and shovels and bust that up, or you can get like, you can get like ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 wrapped up in a huge bale buster, or we actually got this right now, we're borrowing it from our neighbor farm. And this, all it does is we'll take a bale, bust it up into like four chunks instead of pulverizing it to put in pots. We'll put it in here with the shovel and then it'll spit it out nice and fluffy and ready to go for the hanging baskets or pots, like I said, whatever we're using it for. I'm gonna get three eventually, but just so I keep the mess a little bit minimal, I'm going to bust them up. And actually, the soil, if you can tell how it flakes apart like that, it's pretty dry. So what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna get the hose. I'm gonna make some water with this before I run it through the shredder. chunk in that soil. Beautiful. So that was only two bales I broke up right there. And I got a pretty good mixture. But what I'll do now is just fluff it up a little more. Try and mix it a little more with my shovel. So that is really nice. Just from doing it for quite a while, I kind of know what the dirt needs to look like in color to be the right consistency. And that looks really, really close. So I'm probably gonna take out four more bales here. So I got one pile mixed up, ready to go. I got another pile here broken up. That's gotta go through the soil buster and then that'll be done. But I want to go over to the other greenhouse quick and show you what's going on over here. Mom, Frank, and Steph are all, are all over here filling pots, um, filling hang baskets, and then planting flowers in them according to what needs to go in each one. So in here, ouch, just got a splinter. Um, 
Frank and Steph filled all these hang baskets here. Mom already planted these ones here. And then they have all these filled over here. And mostly, not everything, but a lot of it is going to be this stuff right here going into them. So what my mom's doing here now is fuchsias. And I think she has at least two. So these she has three different varieties in. There you can see that's the dark purple. Or like, yeah, I guess you'd call it dark purple. Here's white. And then here is, oh, maybe that's the dark purple. Light purple, dark purple, and white. And there's one of each in there. You can see there's three different plants. So that's what she has all these done over here. Now this is just all one color, I think. This is all of like that light purple. And there's three of the same plants in there. You can see here's her book. It's kind of getting old and faded, but she has written down what kind of combination she likes to put in different baskets. So now we'll come back over here to where I was busting up that dirt. Can't get anywhere because the tables are right there. And, and Frank and Mom in. are in here and set them in. filling like, here show moss hanging baskets right here. So Frank's gonna fill them, put them on the cart, take them over. My mom's gonna plant them. And then she'll water them, and then they'll be ready to go. Okay. Um. That's pretty good, yeah. No higher now, it's perfect. Yeah, right up to Look the edge that. of the box. <laughs> and I guess we'll just put them on here. You're not going to yeah, get a lot on two, there. One That's what I said. They're only going to get about 12. You might get three. You, mm, I doubt it. Maybe if you stagger them back and forth. So yeah, they'll have two trips. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'd even fill them a little more than that. They're gonna go down. So that's it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.